Hey there folks, this is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net and this is an official tool tip for responsive theme users. I get a lot of questions about uh, what tools should I install or what tools should I use. Well, I've got one suggestion and it's available through WordPress and it installs in WordPress. And I want you to take a look here. I'm inside a post that I'm editing um, and I want you to notice my toolbar right here my tool ribbon okay when you first install the responsive theme you're not gonna have half as many of these tools available okay and these tools make editing your post or pages a breeze okay they add tons of features um, and give you the ability to add media or HTML horizontal rulers you can change paragraph and title sizes um, this is great for your headings you know you always hear about h2 h3 well here they are right here okay and that comes with this tool package plugin that I'm going to tell you about um, font size you know a lot of things that just aren't available in the default tool section so this is a short tutorial but I just want to show you the plugins that you need to install right away once you, you know, install WordPress activate your responsive theme you definitely want to install these two um, plugins right here okay first one is called Tiny MCE Advanced. Okay. That is Tiny MCE Advanced. Okay. And let's see. There's another one that you're going to love. And that's Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. Okay, now that Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. Okay, basically that works along with the Tiny MCE Advanced. And I'm going to show you what those plugins give you right now. Let's go to Settings in my dashboard and go down to Tiny MCE Advanced. And what that's going to bring up is your tiny MCE buttons arrangement. Okay, and what this area right here represents is the area I was just showing you when I was editing a post. So let's just go back to that post. This area here okay is what that represented inside the tool settings so let's go back this area here is what tools you have available in your post or page editor okay now what you can do is select from many of these now I've dragged a lot of them already up here that's why you see so many in my toolbar but you get so many options that you don't have with the default toolbar so horizontal rule, uh, deleted text, abbreviations, acronyms, insert the time, um, layers, hidden characters, search, um, you know, blank space, uh, replace, background color, you know, just tons of options. Um, and this is where you add them. You simply grab them and drag them to your toolbar. So if I drag this justify up into my toolbar, okay, it's now there, and I save the changes. Now justify is something I didn't have on my toolbar when I was editing my post. So let's go back to the post and see if it showed up there.
and there you have it. The line full justify. Okay, so just a really quick tip you definitely want to install those two plugins once again Tiny MCE Advanced and Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget. Alright, they work together. The Black Studio Tiny MCE, MCE Widget um, gives you extended coverage basically because it incorporates your media. So now what you can do um, let's see what I can show you here really quick um, let's go to widgets appearance and widgets and the black studio tiny MCE widget not only installs more tools for you to use in your page or post editor but it also gives you a black studio tiny MCE widget which is not normally part of your default widget arrangement okay and what this widget allows you to do is add media to your widgets normally you wouldn't you'd be using a regular text arbitrary text or HTML widget to drag into your side widgets and your sidebars but if you drag one of these in there then it allows you to let's just go to my my pages here real quick but it, add, it allows you to add content media content these are all widgets and they have images in them this one I have a form in inside of a widget I have video inside these widgets here so you know there's tons of stuff you can do inside your widgets once you have the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget installed. And once again, it gives you additional tools in your page and post editor, and it's just a great accent and complement to Tiny MCE Advanced. All right, so I hope this was a helpful tool tip. From MindVisionMedia.net, if you have any questions, contact me. My name is Alan. Uh, I hope this was helpful. You definitely want to install this as one of your first uh, set of uh, plugins once you get inside. All right? All righty. Till next time, talk to you there. Bye.